Okay, so a lot of those disc injuries that we've just seen on the scan there, often when the patient injures their disc like that, within a couple of months, often they'll, they'll heal up on their own, uh, almost from just from rest and the right amount of rest and gentle exercise. Um, however, this particular patient that we just saw on the scan there, he, he had, his, uh, had his injury in around about October, November, um, and he'd been suffering all that time until about, I think it was the March uh, this year that he came in to see us. So a good few months, uh, been getting sciatic pain down his leg and lots of low back pain as well. Um, he'd already had a course of physiotherapy prior to coming to our clinic here. Um, and unfortunately, it hadn't really had any improvement. So we decided to use uh, the new therapy we have in the clinic, the IDD, spinal decompression therapy, um, to see if that could alleviate his problems. Um, and really, within, within a few sessions, uh, he started to you know, notice some very quick relief uh, in his sciatic pain in his leg. Um, he went on to have a full course of sessions and at the end of that course uh, was virtually pain free. Um, he had no uh, nerve tension in his leg at all uh, and was very pleased as were we. So then we decided to do a follow up scan with him uh, to see whether we could see any, any structural improvement within that disc. Okay, so again, this, is the, this was the scan uh, with the patient I mentioned, Farhan, uh, before he had the IDD therapy, and we can see that large disc bulge here that was pressing on um, the nerve root next to it. Um, we can compare that now to the scan that was taken after his course of therapy. This is the same disc level, but as you can see, the disc bulge has virtually gone completely. Very small little bulge still, but not pressing on the nerve in any way. Um, the other interesting thing to, to look at when we see these two scans is that this patient actually did have uh, a couple of bulges, uh, a, a bulge on the, the disc below and a bulge on the disc above the target level, so we can see that on both scans. Um, so this again is another, I suppose, uh, indication that we were really able to target that particular disc. Um, this was the one we set the machine up to target and that's one that had the improvement. The other two discs were largely unchanged before and after and this was something that was uh, um, corroborated with the uh, radiologist's report. Um, the, the report that came back described the small bulges here, but this, this bulge here um, hardly being very big at all. So as I said before, some of those patients with those sorts of disc injuries uh, will of course, you know, they will improve on their own without having to have uh, things like the IDT therapy. Um, they might have a little bit of manual therapy, uh, just some the right sort of exercises. But really what I'm interested in the clinic here, what I have been interested in, the reason why I got the IDT therapy in, is that you know, for those patients who really have had these sort of disc problems, um, had these psychic symptoms for more than three months, who obviously aren't starting to improve within the standard six to eight weeks you, you, that you would expect, um, you know, if they've still got their symptoms, you know, what's the options left for them? And really the options are really uh, looking at going down the route of injections, epidurals, and obviously a worst case scenario surgery, um, or just having to live with it. Um, and up until us having the IDD therapy, there really was no, you know, they're, they're, these patients were sort of in limbo land, really. They were in, uh, you know, stuck in, stuck in between, do I have surgery or do I just live with it? Um, and thankfully, I would say the IDD therapy that we've now put in, uh, we're really able to give those patients a real alternative option. And there have been a number of cases uh, that we've had in the last few months who, um, without question of a doubt, have, have been, their symptoms have dramatically improved once they've started the course of therapy. And, and some patients who definitely have had, you know, had to avoid their surgery that they were planning and have been delighted as well with, uh, with the results.